Hey guys, welcome to WPF Tutorials. Today we are going to be talking about the uniform grid in WPF. So you may be asking, what does the uniform grid do? Well, it simply provides a way to create a grid where all of the cells are the same size, hence the name uniform grid. So let's go ahead and just test out what I just said and we are going to add a couple of rectangles to a uniform grid and all you have to do to add a uniform grid is add the uniform grid tag like so and I'm just going to add a simple rectangle in here if I could spell rectangle correctly we're going to fill that rectangle with the color of black and you can see there's one rectangle and one cell so all of the rectangles and all of the cells are the same size but there's only one right alright so now we're gonna add one more rectangle and we're gonna make it red and so now there's two rectangles that are the same size and let's go ahead and add a third one in here and then a fourth one so you can see it automatically sizes each element that you put in the uniform grid to be contained within a cell that is a certain size and they will all be the same. Um, so if we want to lay out a specific number of rows and columns all we have to do is use the row and column attribute. So let's say we want a uniform grid with three rows and three columns. So what that actually did was it prepared our uniform grid for a total of nine elements for three rows and three columns and so these four elements have now been sized down and are placed in the first four cells at the at the proper size and with the right amount of logic we could actually go so far as to create a board game or something with it if we wanted to so what we could actually do is come down here create another uniform grid and this time we can name it checkerboard now who didn't see that one coming? Raise your hands. Yeah, that's what I thought. We all saw that coming. Alright, so what we can do is we can go now to the code behind and you see here that I've already reserved seven rows and seven columns for the checkerboard. So what it's doing is it's going from 0 to 24 and it's taking that checkerboard uniform grid, accessing its children object and adding a new rectangle with a black brush and with a red brush. And it's doing that over and over and over again, you know, 24 times. And we end up with the following result. There you go. So there's kind of a miniature, miniature checkerboard. So now really all you would need to do is add, you know, some simple logic to add pieces and rules and all that kind of fun stuff. And you got yourself a checkerboard game. Pretty cool, eh? All right. Well, that is actually it for today. Uniform Grid is pretty pretty simple. Hopefully um, you understand how to use the Uniform Grid, how to set it up, and what its reason for existence is. And as always, if you feel like I miss anything or if you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, or anything at all, um, don't forget to leave them in the comment section below the video. And thank you guys, and see you tomorrow.